Mike, I can't get into the proper racket drop position. In this video, I'm going to explain what that position is on your serve and why players may have issues getting into that position and, of course, what to do about that. Stage one of the serve, the stance and the grip. Stage two is your ball toss release. Stage three is your loading position. Number four is the racket drop position which obviously comes after stage three. And I would love to demonstrate a perfect one, but I'm choosing Zabina Lizicki and Madison Keys to show you how to perfectly get into that position. Because the reason why I can't get into that position very well anymore ties directly in to the reason why a lot of people can't get into that position. More on that later. Both players are in a loading position and you're now seeing how the racket drops and that is because the hand here pulls on the racket to move up and out of course to make contact up above and this here is the racket drop position madison keys from this side perfect position and you do notice a couple of the characteristics so you have the racket head pointing down the inside of the wrist the inside of the elbow for both players, point up. Obviously, they're looking up, so the face looks up. And then the chest bone, the thoracic spine, also looks up. And that is the perfect racket drop right here. One of the biggest reasons why people can't get into a proper racket drop position is that they're still following the worst possible cue for the surf. And Yep, many coaches are still using that. And that is that the serve is like a throw or a pitch. When you're throwing a ball forward like a pitch, your hand from this position, from here on out, if you're throwing forward, your hand moves in more of a horizontal plane. So if I'm throwing this way, my hand and then in extension the racket doesn't really drop. The other thing that's not like a pitch on the serve is that on the pitch, on the throw, you're rotating your hip open like crazy. And that's exactly what we don't want to do on the serve. On the serve, we want to stay side on as long as possible. Now, if we want to liken the serve more to a throw that goes up as high far we're coming closer to what actually happens on the serve and then with the racket drop from the loading position out right here my hand moves up and because my hand moves up quicker than the rest of the racket my hand now pulls on the racket and that is what's causing the racket drop if you're throwing forward my hand doesn't go up hence my racket would not drop in the optimal way that we want on the racket drop. So if you hear that the uh, serve is like a pitch, like a throw, throw that out. But how do I now kind of reset my brain to execute a fairly different motion? Everybody has a stinky tennis sock. Fill it with two or three balls because that gives you a little bit of weight that you feel a lot better. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually throw the sock up as high as you can, but ideally not far at all. This is not the drill where you have a continuous motion here. And I feel how I have to manipulate my hand from this position, and now I'm exploding up and out. Next step then is, of course, to go out and hit a little bit more. And hopefully you will have felt that when you make that mental adjustment that you have to go up and out and not forward, you're now also realizing again that your hand pulls up and that gives you the racket drop. The next culprit is if you have the wrong grip, if you're trying to surf with a forehand or a frying pan grip, it's gonna be very, very difficult to get into the racket drop position that we see from top players. And of course, those are all players that have the proper grip. And here's why. When you're serving with the frying pan grip, 
what you're doing is again moving your hand a lot more in a horizontal motion because you're trying to just literally square up the racket face with the ball as long as possible and you just simply don't need the racket down here because you're not pulling up to make contact as high as you would make contact when you have the proper grip so that then is a matter of having the wrong expectations if you have the wrong grip and i do have clients who tell me i don't want to make any grip changes because i'm just playing for fun i'm playing uh just to you know hang out with my friends and i just want to get the ball going perfectly fine absolutely no issues there no pasa nada as they say here but if you have the expectations to get into a correct racket drop you have to have the correct grip but Micah, I really do have the correct grip. I really do have my continental grip. Here, I can show you on video. You start with the continental grip. What do you mean I start with the continental grip? You'd be amazed how many times I catch players, and a lot of times it's players who have made the change from a frying pan grip to a continental grip, that I catch those players re-gripping while they're actually in their serve motion. Because they have served thousands and thousands and thousands of repetitions with the wrong grip, their brain has basically formed too strong of a neural pathway for that motion and they haven't overcome that yet with enough correct repetitions. So they literally start in the proper grip. And I do see that on video. I see people going, okay, I'm checking, mm -hmm, got my continental grip. And then as they're taking the racket back, the brain literally tells them, wait a second, what do you want me to do? You want me to serve? Isn't that what we used to do like this? So let me just real quick here regrip. And it is impossible almost to see that with the naked eye. And that is why filming yourself is so helpful. You can absolutely see that you have the right grip to start with. And if you do regrip, you will see the execution more going forward. You will not see the proper racket drop with the racket all the way down here, the tip of the racket pointing down to the ground, you will not see that. Of course, on the contact, you see more of this here. And a lot of times you don't see the proper follow through. And those are the cues basically at the end of the motion where I'm going like, oh, let's see, has that happened again? And by happening again, I mean, does somebody regrip? The first step to fixing that is to be aware of it, number one. And as I always do that with technical changes, I go from very, very simple to more complex. So get into mid court or just hit towards the fence. I don't care where you're hitting the ball, but you start in the loading position and then hit up and you're working a little bit slower, step by step by step on maintaining the proper grip. Here's the last reason why some players have issues getting into a proper racket drop position. I hate to say that, but we may not have the physical abilities to do that anymore. And when that happens, when we just cannot do certain things because our body is not built that way, maybe we have to be okay with 90%. Because if you're forcing yourself into something that your body can't sustain over a longer period of time, it's when we're getting injured. So easy on that one. And I know it's frustrating, but that is also part of being a tennis player. One more drill to reprogram your brain a little bit more that you have to get from the loading position up with your hand and the motion is this drill. And I do like this drill a lot because it actually includes the toss. So what you're going to do is you're tossing the ball just like you would on a regular serve and you're then trying to... Did I have that on camera? Because I actually hit that ball. And then you're trying to hit that ball. And obviously because that ball is hanging right in front of you, up in front of you, not to the front. If you're interested in more videos and videos that I'm not publishing anywhere else, check out my Patreon membership site. For as little as $5, you get early access and you get a bunch of perks. And if you're upgrading to Grand Slam level, you're also joining a monthly live coaching call and some more perks. So do check out my Patreon.